The Vault Encounter is like nothing you've seen in Destiny 2, and there's no DPS involved. So you don't need to worry about weapons, except that you'll need things for ad clear and things for burst damage, because there'll be some nice you take out. So swords, shotguns, a super that can take a enemy out pretty quickly are sort of things that you're going to need. But this is more about puzzles and ad clear. You'll notice when you get in the room, there are basically three areas. There's one area that looks like it has a giant rock. There's one area that has a bunch of trees. A lot of times we call that forest or trees. And there's one area that has a giant orb. For some reason, people call that stairs. If you want to call it that, that's fine. Make up your own call-outs. I like to call that orb because, again, all three areas have stairs. Um, but you'll notice that there's three areas and that there's three plates that correspond with those areas. So that's kind of the core of the activity is that you have these three areas that things are going to happen, but you also have these three plates. You're going to want to have three sets of two people. And again, they're going to be designated per area. So you notice how I said there were three areas. Those people are set to those three zones. One person is going to read and get on the plate. The other person is going to guard them and do ad clear. Once you get on the plate, one person is going to look at their symbols. So you have a symbol once you get on the plates of left, middle, and right. Whichever one is in your middle, call that out. The other people in the encounter are going to look to see if that symbol shows up on their plate as well. It will not show up in the middle. It will either show up on the left or right. If you happen to see it on the left, that means later in the encounter, that plate that you're on is going to need a penumbra. And again, we'll get into that a little bit later. If it's on the right, it's going to need entumbra. And I think for this encounter, obviously each person can remember. The other way is if you have someone on your fire team who's really good at remembering things over time, it might be good to have that one person kind of remember which play is which. But again, the readers can also do that individually. So that person, again, that second person is going to say, whether it's Penumbra and Tumbra, he's going to say that to the entire fire team, right? Then he's going to say what his middle symbol is, okay? And then at that point, the person who's in the third plate is going to say whether his is Antumbra or Penumbra, right? Whether it's right or left. And then they're going to read out their middle and the same thing with the person who first read. So again, the goal of this is to understand the three plates, whether they're Antumbra or Penumbra, okay? That'll come up later in the encounter. So while this is going on, you're going to kill a bunch of ads. It's really important as you're killing those ads not to get into those rooms too far. And the reason is eventually two of those rooms are closed up and one will stay open. And that can leave people vulnerable to not being able to guard the middle area. So like I said, as you're going and clearing those ads, try to stay into the center of the room wherever it's possible. But clear the ads in that middle room. Then the runner, and a lot of times who we make the runner, the person who is a reader, we make them the runner as well. Again, you can make it whoever you want to. But on that zone, let's say it's trees or whatever, you go in and the person who's going to run goes into the room, kills all the ads, and then there's going to be a knight that they have to kill at the very end. Once you kill that knight, an Eye of Riven is going to drop. Once you have this Eye of Riven, what's going to happen then is that another area is going to open up randomly in the encounter. So your a wall will fill in on the one that you're in, and you'll have to run, check this map out, either clockwise or counterclockwise around. So let's say you're in tree, you have to go to rock, right? You can go really quickly, come out. Once you come out of the area that's open, you're then going to need, you'll notice that you either have Antumbra or Penumbra on your character. You're going to need to go to one of the three plates that has Antumbra or Penumbra. Again, if you're not clear, if you don't remember which one it was because it's not one of your plates, call out to your fire team. They can let you know which one to go to. Go to that plate and cleanse it with your grenade ability. If you do the wrong one, you're going to die. And at that point, unless you're really quick, that's more likely wipe. You don't have to start over. But while you're doing this, a knight is going to randomly come out of one of these three areas. He's a huge knight. He's going to attempt to go lock down one of the plates. And you have about five seconds, maybe even less than that, once he gets that plate or it wipes the entire fire team. So that's why it's really important to have something that's burst damage, a super shotgun sword to be able to take him out really quickly. If you're struggling, call out to everyone on the fire team to help you out. So you do that. While you're doing that, obviously a new area is opening up. When that new area opens up, the same thing happens. You have the person who's going to be a runner go in. They're going to get the Eye of Riven. As soon as they get the Eye of Riven, they're going to book it to go to the next plate. While they do that, when they pick up that Eye of Riven, another area is going to open up. When the second one opens up, you're going to have two knights that spawn. 
When the third one opens up, you're going to have three knights at spawn. At that point, you know it's going to be in all three plates. So again, it's really important to make sure, A, you're doing the intumber or the penumber on the correct plates. It's also very important that you kill the knights as quickly as possible. Again, if you're struggling, call out to your fire team. Once you complete this, that's the first of three times you have to do this. So again, it's just a lot of rinse and repeat. So you do it that first time, then you do it a second time. Again, the same thing, the same sequence where you're doing all three plates, all three knights, and then you have to do a third time. And you notice the third time, you'll know you get there because it has really hyped up, powerful music. I actually really love the music in this encounter. Once you do that, that's the entire encounter. So that may be confusing. That's the easiest way I can think of to explain it. If you do struggle with this, I, again, I would just continue to iterate and practice this. And just if you struggle with the intumber penumbra on your fire team, make sure you have some people who are really good. And if you have to, have someone write it down. If you're in Discord or if you're in PC chat, you can have someone type it in potentially if you need to. But again, it's really important. It can get really confusing to understand which way you have to go. Also, these routes are really important because when you get to the very end of the raid, you're going to have to come back in this room and have to navigate this maze again. So it's really important to kind of understand how you get around, whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise, to get to the different areas. But again, over time, that will just become muscle memory. So again, guys, if you like these videos, feel free to check out my other raid guide videos. I have an entire list where you can get those if you're struggling with other raids. But that's the video. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, check my Discord, and I'll see you, Guardians of the Tower.